Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's speed paint. This week, I wanted to try a little fun challenge I saw Applement do. Basically, she spun a wheel to help her decide what type of material she would be using to color certain parts of her drawing. For example, she got gel pens for skin and markers for hair. If you haven't seen that video, I will put it up in the iCard so that way you'll have a better understanding of this. Anyway, after taking inspiration from her video, I wanted to make mine and I wanted to kind of add a couple more challenges. I decided I would add colors, theme, and gender to the fate of the wheel. As for what I got, I feel like I got extremely lucky. To attempt and try to spice things up, I added options like printer paper and hole punchers as my materials. However, luck was totally on my side and I got great supplies. For paper, I ended up with a Canson watercolor paper. For hair, I got watercolor. Skin was Ohuhu markers, eyes was alcohol ink, and lastly, I got Sharpies for clothes. With some washi tape for fun extra pops wherever I like. <laughs> well, as long as it didn't, of course, interfere too much with the pre-selected selections and materials. Now that you kind of get the gist of what's happening, I just wanted to see how you are all holding up. I hope that you're all doing well mentally, physically, and emotionally. Let me know in the comments, or if you're not really comfortable with that kind of thing, let me know what kind of fun activities you're doing. Personally, I have gotten to play a lot of video games lately, which is super awesome. I'm a Destiny 2 junkie, and I finally got my character's light level up to 980, which is really great considering the cap is currently in the 1000s. I've also done so many of my exotic quests that have been on the back burner. Usually I feel like video games aren't something I can do because I feel like there's more things I should be doing that are more productive and I feel guilty playing video games, but since I don't have that much stuff to do right now, I've just got to relax. But most importantly, I have made wonderful, strong connections with my family and some old friends. Okay, now I suppose it's time to rein the conversation back in to what you really came here for. As for the art, I'm very happy with the results. Surprisingly though, I liked the hair the best. Which is strange considering I'm not the best at watercolor. However, I think I learned a lot from Weblight Dreams actually. She did a video, and I think it was titled Lineless Art Challenge? Yeah, and in her video she talked about how she built up the colors and watching her do that really helped me out a lot. So, if you're interested in that, I'll have that video up in the iCard. I can't recommend Weblight enough, she's so sweet, so supportive, family friendly, great content, amazing art. Plus, she also uploads very frequently, so again, if you're looking for something to do, and that you like to do crafty things, definitely check her out. Okay, but the part I struggled with the most was actually the skin, which is weird, because I love doing skin, so it's strange that the thing I'm not very good at and with a medium I'm not very good at, again, turned out to be my favorite, but the medium that I like the most with the part I like to do the most turned out the worst. I started out with a very orangey tone, again, I just really didn't like it, so I went back to look at my color options and I realized a little warm gray might be kind of sick. So I tried that out, I absolutely loved it, and I think it really helped tie in the skull and the whole undead kind of look. At least I think that's how you would say it. She reminds me of kind of like Raven from Teen Titans. But I kind of wanted her to be like a necromancer fighter. I feel like we always see undead magics in mages. But I thought it would be really cool to see like the whole undead magic alongside a close combat fighting character. Anyway, that's all for now. Please make sure you stay safe and healthy. Bye bye